I put this in the video, I'll just edit it out. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to today's Wody Boss Guide videos. And today we're going to be looking at the pretty boy himself, Mr. Rufus Shinra. Though funny enough, actually, I don't know, is his last name Shinra? I should probably know this stuff. But anyway, let's not get into that. So today I want to show you a guide on how to take down Rufus. Uh, one of two different methods, depending on uh, what gear you have, what kind of routing you have in your speed runs, um, or just gameplay in general. Rufus, believe it or not, is actually a very easy boss battle once you know how to manage him to where uh, easy, normal. I've never done the hard mode yet, so I can't speak too much on hard. These two methods of defeating Rufus are going to be very helpful for anybody running uh, easy or normal, and that includes both no major glitches and any percent. Uh, so one of the first things we want to make sure, Cloud is going to fight Rufus by himself. And so one, you want to have Ifrit on because that's going to give you extra attack power. You can see here, ATB boost, first strike, and binding. For one of the strats. Now you don't actually need binding, but it will make the battle a bit laughable when you see what's going to happen here in a second and how to defeat him. So as long as Cloud has ATB boost, first strike, preferably a level 3 one if you have it, if not level 2 is fine. Binding materia. And Ifrit of course. Cloud also must have hard edge because it's his best physically attack physically physical <laughs> uh cloud must have hard edge because it's his best physical attack weapon so once you have those things of course you can run over here trigger the battle so first thing you do is the minute the battle starts you need to try and target dark star with a triple slash so that way you can separate the two of them from their link and then keep wailing on dark star now the method i'm going to use is once i combo dark star and he's pressured i'm going to actually atb boost before pushing the phase, so I can gain some extra ATV from it. So, it's fine if Rufus shoots you, not the end of the world. Um, so you saw there, as I staggered Darkstar, I went straight for the ATV boost. Because I want to make sure I have the ATB for what happens here next. So since this cutscene's playing, I can just talk about what we're gonna do next. But so we still need to take out Dark Star. So we should still be targeting him. And we're going to go straight in for the triple slash again to separate the two of them. And we're just gonna keep attacking Dark Star until he is dead. And ideally we should have two ATB. Now I realize my uh, cam there is partially blocking it, so let me go no, ahead and just, just it upwards there. So I don't have the two ATB. So this is going to be a little tricky in this case to do one of the strats. Um, so let me pause it here and kind of talk about this. So this is where things will deviate a bit, depending on how you want to complete this battle. The easiest way to finish this battle would be to sleep Rufus. If you, fun fact, I know a lot of games, things like sleep, don't work on big boss battles, but in Final Fantasy VII, they do. As long as you use sleep from the tactical menu, it will trigger on Rufus and he'll fall asleep. It only works one time. And so the the point of this strategy is that two ATB, because the goal would be to hit Rufus with sleep, he stops moving, and then you go in and braver him, because braver will automatically stagger him, and then you just wail on him to win the battle. The other strat would be the wait for him to trigger reload. And the timing on that can be a little tricky because the goal is you kind of have to wait for him to attack, but you, you want to be close to him and you want to not take too much damage, of course, and you want to pray that he hits reload when you're close enough to braver him because he'll, he'll stop moving during the motion. Let's try and see some of this in action. Let's make that night to yeah. you should be so I'm going to go ahead and sleep him. Sweet dreams. Come on. And so you can see here I'm waiting for the ATB to build, so luckily that wasn't too bad. And stagger, and then we just wail on him. And a basic combo will be enough to beat him. And there, he's been defeated. No more Rufus. So that was that was one of the strats there. In a moment here, we're going to take a look at the other strat, where let's say you don't have binding, and you're not going to sleep him. Now, one thing to note when I did this earlier, and I used ATB boost, um, you actually wouldn't use ATB boost in this first phase. The reason being is because the combo alone is going to get you two ATB anyway. So there's no point of it. You would do it in phase two because you're going to waste one ATB to triple slash and then you're going to use it mid combo before you kill Darkstar to get the rest of the ATB. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at attacking Rufus without 
putting him to sleep first. So this would be a method if, let's say, you don't have the sleep materia, you decided to save the money, you don't have it in your speed running routing, who knows what the reason might be. Or let's say you didn't equip it to Cloud and forgot the menu and you're trying to save time because it's a speed run. So all hope is not lost. What we're going to do now is I'm going to kind of block dodge about, but I'm going to try and stay as close to Rufus as much as possible, because the goal is to let him do his attacks and wait for him to reload. And the moment he reloads, we need to be close and we need to braver him as fast as possible. If you time it right and you get it done properly, you will stagger him and hit him. So let's take a look. Yeah, you should be on. Yeah. Bring it. So we're going in for it, and so we didn't quite get it, unfortunately. He finish the reload, but I think now we're going to get it, and there it is, and so we should be able to just wail on him, and there it goes, he's down once again, and there you have it. So with that said, uh, I've just shown you today uh, two different methods at which you can fight Rufus in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, as you can see, the boss battle is pretty, pretty tame, pretty easy, uh, there's not a whole lot of gimmicks, a lot of honestly like craziness you have to plan for it uh it's it's kind of it's kind of laughable when you <laughs> when i first did this battle i was like oh this is like really challenging or like how the hell do i hit this guy he's dodging i can't get close he it's it, so it was, it was really interesting to see what the actual strategy was by speedrunners when i started speedrunning this game and how how stupidly easy it actually was at the end of the day so uh, there you have it. There's two ways to take down Rufus. Uh, there's the sleep method and the no sleep method. Obviously, the sleep method is a bit safer as long as you have the two ATB or can get the second ATB while he's asleep. That will be the quicker method um, if everything else leading up to it goes pretty fast. Whereas the non-sleep method is, as you saw there in the video, first time I did reload, I didn't trigger Braver quick enough. So he was actually able to take the hit, but it didn't stagger him. So then the second time I did it, I finally got the stagger on him. So there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me on another Wody boss battle video. I'm trying something new here with the narration of it versus the text format of the previous one. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this method, if you prefer the text method, so you can kind of pause it and just read the text versus listen to me talk. Happy to kind of incorporate elements of both. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, hit me up on Twitch. I run Final Fantasy VII Speedrun. Happy to provide advice guides to anybody who wants to get into it themselves. Uh, you can find in the description below the Discord link for the uh, speedrunning community. I stream at least three times a week. It's not three, that's like eight. Three times a week, minimum. Hopefully to see you soon, and thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.